Well, hello, 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 and welcome to the Julie Show, starring me, Julie, with a list. Ha! Huh? I did try to do a video a little while ago for you all, and I had to delete it because I started to get fluttered with my teeth falling out and trying to find the right words for y'all. So I'm on day eight and nine, and I say eight and nine because I had my teeth done in separate days. Again, if you guys are following me, you know I had this done the second, this was done on the eighth, and this was done on the ninth. I have a condition in my heart, so they didn't want to give me that much epinephrine at one time. So she decided instead of putting me to sleep, that a simple local anesthetic could get 25 teas out. And you know what? She's right. And I didn't even hurt for the first three days. It wasn't until like a fourth or fifth day that I was like, oh my God. So I want to like every, let everybody know that up front right now. If you are planning on getting this done, you might want to talk to your oral surgeon about getting your pain medication extended or get it later. Don't ask for it right away. Go home, heal up, take some ibuprofen. Two, three days on the road, you're going to be so sore. You're going to wish you did. I'm wishing that I would have saved my Vicodin for this. And I'm not going to get more because I don't want more because I don't want to get addicted to it. Uh, you all know my past. I'm sure you're my friends. I mean, I've had a really bad addiction to uh, a lot of things. And I have an addictive personality, so I do not need any other drugs in my house. I have six prescriptions right now, and that's good enough. I can't really remember what I said in my last video, but I wanted to talk a lot about my teeth again. These things just feel big, okay? She went in yesterday, and she, like, curled this all under so it wouldn't hit my lip. So that's a little swollen right there, if you can see. Yeah. I tried to put a little bit of lipstick on today, and I tried to pucker. Still can't pucker. This is still sticking out. And she said this is all indicative of having the temper reason. I am not. I am far from... The worst cry here, you know? I can see a little old lady going into this and it's not feeling too comfortable. I can see myself doing this when I'm 80 and smacking people around. This is uncomfortable. It's uncomfortable. I don't know what's more comfortable. I've broken teeth or this. Actually, if I go back to some of my pictures and listen to that broken shit, I will probably be very happy that I have teeth. I mean, everybody said how good they look, and I'm the only one that's been really critical about these teeth. They're not my teeth. Well, I'm gonna tell you what, I'm about to turn these people in for keep harassing me. I don't know who's calling me over and over from a three number. It starts with a three every time, the prefix. They're trying every number in the book to get a hold of me. I don't know what they want from me. It's gotta be money. What else do they come after me for? So, let's talk about the realigns. I had realigns done yesterday. They're called realigns because when you have these temp, uh, the temporary procedures done, your teeth will move. And so when your teeth move, you're gonna wanna go to the dentist and have the alignment move to where your teeth move or get it back on track. So I already experienced this twice. Now, Friday last week, I did realigns, only three days out, and then I did realigns yesterday. Now, the ones that I had last week were better because these ones are already slipping out, and I just had this done yesterday. And I think if I'm not mistaken, I heard her say something like, I hope they don't fall out or I hope they hold up. I hope they hold up. All I can really do is come in here and just push up on my two fingers, like right here, on my two teeth, and hold it stakes into the cement that's up here, or the, whatever you call it, that it goes in there for the, the dentures. I know when we do our fillings, it's like cement. Sorry, here I go with my hair. It's really plain Jane today, guys. I just had to take a shower and cleaned up. And usually on days that I do the shower, I didn't even like doing my hair. But I did wash it and dry it today and straighten it. I'm a fresh girl. Did everything. Everything today. Got ready. I just felt like a scumbag. Some days I do. Some days I don't. And another thing about these teeth that are driving me nuts is they're not white. I mean, they're white. White-ish. But they're not nowhere near as white as I'd like them to be. So when I get my permits, this is going to be a whole new ballgame. But I do want to tell y'all, day eight and nine is not that bad. I am starting to see the light at the end of the tunnel and not have any more pain in my mouth. Now I just had to learn how to talk and control these dentures while I'm talking. Or while I'm listening even. I have to learn how to control my dentures. Okay, that's part of my, that's my part as a human. The dentures can only do so much. It's not my teeth's fault, my teeth. It's not my teeth fault that they fell apart. It's not my fault they fell apart. I don't know whose fault it is. It doesn't matter. I cannot believe at 43 years old that I have to wear full dentures. I've seen people at 35 lose their teeth. And, and it happens. We're going to car wreck and knock out all your teeth. Or you're going to fight and knock out all your teeth. People need crowns. People need fake teeth. So I am just not one. I am of many. For a long time when you're doing this kind of process and your teeth are falling out, the only person you can think about is yourself. Did they see that? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Seriously. Get over it. Look at my face just went, mm. yeah, this is definitely swelling a little bit more than it was yesterday. I can compare videos. I don't, I don't know if I did one yesterday, but I don't think that I was this swollen still the other day. I actually was starting to come in a little bit. I think the realigns yesterday might have made me a little bit poofy. And then what she did is she went in and she had silicone to the top. It's really nice because it rolls now. It rolls over, so it's really smooth, even if it just sticks out a little bit. Right now, like I said, it doesn't matter. I just want to keep them in. And she did the same thing to the bottom. 
Now, this one is just behind the tongue. It's starting to catch on stuff. And they say not to work on your own dentures, but I was just there yesterday. I'll be damned if I drive down there again today. I will get my damn file and file that out myself. I have an electric file. Yeah, I do. And I also would like to know why my mother-in-law wants to tell me to use the C-Bond strips for my denture, for the, the temporary dentures here. And my doctor told me not to put anything on them except water. So I'm not sure. I'm supposed to go six months with just cleaning my teeth with water. I don't know what's going on. I just wish that I never had to go through this. It's not that bad. I'm getting through it. Um, it's more mental than anything. Just so you know, the pain in my mouth is nothing like compared to the pain in my head from what I had to go through to get these teeth. And what I had to go through to be alive and somewhat healthy to this day. I don't know. I had a lot of cracked teeth. And I love running my tongue across the bottom of my teeth and not feeling one crack. It's kind of nice. However, every time I come together with my lips or my teeth, I have to push, push in. You guys can't see that with your eyes, but. I'm pushing up on my gums right now. See that? A little bit. Anyways. 43 with dentures. Don't care. Got a great husband. Got a great kid. Got a great dog. Got a house. Got food. Uh, I'm so happy. I mean, I'm a little aggravated that I'm still sore. And we're going on. And we're working on the second week now. But they did say it's a work in progress for about six months to a year. So I'm going through the hell of it right now. And as soon as I get out of this, it will be better for me. I promise. It'll be better for you when you watch me. So with that being said, you guys go out and have a great day. Bye-bye.